What's going on everybody? Welcome back to some more solo bed wars. We're starting off on the map Polygon here, which is a map that I feel like I never really play. Uh, not that I avoid it, it's just I... Is it never in the rotation? Because the total amount of times that I've played this map is probably like four and a half. I don't know. Maybe one time I quit out halfway through the game because I just didn't feel like playing it anymore. Um, let me quick break pink bed. Can I get it? Oh, right before he falls in the void. That is crazy. That's a clean way of starting the game right there. But how we doing everybody since last time? It's only It's been a short while since my last video, so I'm just here again to check up on you. Make sure you're all doing okay. It's only been like a week since my last video. Uh, I guess I'm gonna bed trade with that guy. <laughs> he just jump boosted right over me, so sure. That's, that's fine, I guess. I'll... I'll take a bed trade. I don't feel like chasing him down. He had jump boost, so I was technically faster than him. Um, because when you have jump boost, you move slower than someone sprint jumping on the ground. Here, I have a deal for all of you. If you can make it so the top comment on my channel isn't about my upload schedule, I'll have another video for you this same week. I know, it's kind of insane. And only the top comment. I feel like I'm not asking for that much. But, the, but I'm asking for something. Please, you have to help me, everybody. And here, I'm even willing to help you all on making it so the top comment isn't about my upload schedule. I'm going to give you a sound of a Minecraft mob, and you're all going to guess which one I'm making in the comment section down below. And feel free to go down and like everyone that you agree with. All right, I'm going to do the mob sound now. Ready? <laughs> okay, yep, so that was the sound. Uh, I am not going to repeat it. You'll just have to rewind the video and go ahead and comment what you think the Minecraft mob sound was. And I thought that that was the end of the game, but there's still green here. All right, let's go for green now. <laughs> green disconnected. He knew it was over. This is perfect. Uh, he heard the sound of the mob that I was making <laughs> and he couldn't take it here in the Bed Wars game anymore. Very good first game. And I had a pearl as well that I'll just throw towards mid. Also, I did that first round and uh, I'm farming interactions, okay? Make sure you all interact with this video. Make sure you just smash a like. Have you considered subbing? I know a lot of you have considered unsubbing. Not cool, by the way, but that's all right. But maybe consider liking and subbing. Um, also, Gray is apparently waiting for me here. Oh, the block placements are too cool. Yeah, that's right. I'm a sweaty PVPer. He's hitting me with blocks. He gave up. He literally gave up from the fight. It's insane. All right, time for another fight against this guy. I think he's giving up. Please don't swing. Oh, he's gonna swing. He's ready for a mad PvP encounter. Oh my god, I'm so sweaty. Hold on. Oh, that was crazy. Sorry, that was incredibly sweaty. I needed, uh, I needed to dry myself off after that. Let's go snag Red Bed. Red's been breaking beds and killing people and doing really well, which means they need to get out of the game before they beat me. Oh, my bed's gone. Well, that's real cool. Okay, we're heading mid here. I'm collecting M's because I don't have a bed, and I would love to win this game. Oh, what the? He's right here. Wait, no, don't fight me. You gotta fight that other guy. Wait, that was actually kind of insane. Wait, I can't, I can't kill this guy. All right, I'll leave him alive. He deserves it. That was insane. He fireball jumped up into a ladder clutch into me hitting him into a spot that I don't want to go to or I'll die. That was kind of imp Oh, wait, he's coming back. Wait, no, I don't want to fight again. Stop that. Okay, I'll, I'll kill him, I guess. Okay, so he is looking for my footsteps right now. He's gonna throw a couple fireballs. But it's not enough! It's not enough! The invis is too- Wait, what's he doing? The invis is too strong! The invis is far too strong. GG to me, being a total cheater using speed and invis. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Very good game. But I had something happen to me the other day, everybody, and I really needed to get it off my chest because I feel like if I tell someone, then I can be at peace again. But right now, it's been constantly on my mind, and I just, I want to forget about it. But first, let me give you some background. First, I was closing up at Domino's one night. I work at Domino's. Have I said that before? I feel like I say it way too much. So, sorry for telling you more about about Domino's if you're sick and tired and you're like, hey, I don't care. No more trying to get pity points. But pretty much, I was closing up, so it's about 3 a.m., and I was putting a bunch of the ingredients away, and a drunk guy walks in, and he's like, hey, bro, can I have some food? And I was like, well, technically we're closed, but I can make you some stuff that's like really easy to make because I don't really want to get all the ingredients back out to make pizzas or whatever. And he's like, well, tell me what you can make me. It's kind of in like a snotty tone, but 
he was under the influence, so it's, I didn't really care. I knew that that wasn't like normally what he's like. And also he probably wouldn't have remembered anything that happened in that conversation the next day anyway. So it didn't really matter to me. But I was like, I can make you like chicken wings or lava cakes or maybe a pasta, but I'm not really willing to make you like a pizza or anything. And then he eventually ended up ordering, I think it was uh, wings and lava cakes. So I make him the wings and lava cakes and it takes about like, 10-ish minutes to put some food through the oven. So after about like five minutes, his food's about halfway through the oven. He's like, I'm waiting from the lobby. And it's like, okay, your food's on the way, sir. I'm, I'm going as quick as I can. Because again, I can't make it cook any faster. It's, it's up to the oven for how long it takes. Unless he wants uncooked food, which is always pretty yummy. Green is trying to get to my base. I'm not letting that happen. Get out of here. But either way, he's in the lobby being impatient. Again, I don't really get too frustrated with customer service, especially when uh, they're drunk and it's late at night. Because again, I know that they're not going to remember the conversation at all. And I know that's not their normal self. So it doesn't really matter to me. But anyways, food finally comes out. I give him his box of wings, his box of lava cakes, and he leaves the store. And I'm like, well, good thing that guy's gone because I didn't want to deal with him anymore. The main reason I didn't want to deal with him is just because I wanted to go home. You know, I, I wanted to clean up and leave. I didn't want to make food for people past clothes. But either way, I'm a saint. I'm the best person ever. And I go ahead and make him his food. He gets his food and he leaves with the lava cakes and wings. Anyway, he went out and he ate all of it. And then he came back in the store afterwards. Let me continue the story in the next game. But anyway, he went outside with his food after I gave it to him. And he came back in just a couple minutes later. Like, he didn't even have enough time to eat all of his food. He definitely didn't. But he came back in just a couple minutes later. And there was a lava cake smashed all over his face. <laughs> if you don't know what a lava cake is, it's this little chocolatey cake with, like, a gooey chocolatey inside. So when you smash it on your face, like, it's a gooey mess. But again, I don't know what he did. I don't know if he tried like a, a here comes the airplane type deal, but like that airplane missed the landing. All right. Like it, cause it, cause it was on his face. But anyway, when he comes back in, he's like, Hey bro, can you make me some food? And I was like, dude, I just made you food. It's all over your face. What did you do? And he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Because, again, he was under the influence, so he probably thought he could fool me by saying, Oh, I didn't get any food. What are you talking about? Even though I could see more than enough evidence. And eventually I'm like, no, you have to go. I'm not making you any more food. Because I was already a saint for making him food past closing time. Eating into my beautiful evening time that I could have went home and spent listening to C418 and crying. Um, I made him food instead. But anyway, eventually he left, I cleaned up and went home, and that's the end of the story. But that has been stuck on my mind. It's like, what errors do I have to go through in my lifetime to end up in a Domino's at 3 a.m. with chocolate lava cakes smashed all over my face? What? Where do I have to go wrong in life? Because I feel like I'd have to go pretty wrong in life for that to happen. But hey, if you've ever been into Domino's, with lava cake smashed all over your face at 3 a.m. Hey, feel free to smash like on my video because I, I accept you even though I think it's a little weird. But anyway, I got more Domino stories if you feel like hearing them. Let me know in the comments. I want a far more interaction. Let me know if you want to hear more. I, I don't know if, if you're all sick and tired of hearing about my adventures as a fast food employee and you just don't care because then I because then I won't tell anymore and it's totally cool. But anyway, let's go ahead and end this game. I'm going to break red bed or wait. Yeah, that's red. I, I saw the bed was pink and I was confused for a second. I'm like, Pink's not in the game. How exactly is the bed here? But anyway, I'm glad you all get to experience that story with me now. And it's not just me thinking about it. You all have to deal with it too at this point. Mwahaha. <laughs> Evil laugh. Uh, the rest of the game is over here. Not anymore. That's cool. They both fell off that big tower, I think. And died of fall damage. So I'll, I'll take a free win. There's a new Lunar Plus logo in this lobby. I know that like the Lunar Plus I have is pink with a plus his is aqua with a plus so i don't really know what that is and i'm a lunar partner i'm out of the loop although it seems that yellow team is prepared for me to rush uh we'll have to see what happens here and my w tapping is too powerful i almost took no damage there too which is really cool meaning i should have enough health if i do well in this fight that is uh to uh be able to kill him and there we go a nice quick team wipe i say team wipe but it was one person so does that really count? Probably not. But whatever, I'm calling it a team wipe anyway. I would collect M's, but I think I'm just going to go straight for Gray Team. Um, Gray Team took out Pink pretty quick, so I might as well just give him a try. I'll do that real quick, see if I can get a couple hits in. 
or more than a couple hits. That was kind of crazy. And uh, let's quick snag a bed. Easy money. And uh, I'm down two hearts, but I have a better sword. Can we win this fight? He's slightly laggy, but that's all right. A big dub there. And I'm just going to keep going. I bought two gaps. I feel like I should have bought a gap and a TNT. Uh, my bed's gone because of the Lunar Plus guy. This is so sad. But unless he voids, I should be able to snag his bed right back, which is very good. And I grabbed two emeralds on the way. Uh, he voided, but not in time. I'm going to still grab this bed. And then I'll just jump on out of here. Actually, should I? He... No, hold on. I should not just jump out of here. Yeah, he... Okay, get out of here. <laughs> he tried going his e-chest to grab a bunch of the, uh... Like, his good stuff out. He grabbed a stone sword and whatever. It, that wasn't worth it. Because now, what ended up happening is I just got free crits on him before the fight. But anyway, somehow I have two TNTs now, which is very cool. I'm pretty sure he was just storing up two TNTs in his ender chest, so... So I'll take it. That's cool. Um, I bought two speeds with the uh, the emeralds I grabbed in mid on my way over to blue team. Although, if... Yeah, it looks like this guy has not left his base yet, which is slightly intimidating, honestly. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do invis, jump, and a bridge egg. I was thinking about doing a pearl, but the bridge egg will complete the bridge to his base. And then from there, I can just invis in, and it should work totally fine. Again, I don't know what he has planned. I don't know if he's been stocking up, like, iron golems or something, but I have no prot. So if he spawns an iron golem... I am getting absolutely dropped by it, so I am very concerned. He might be saving up for, like, Emerald Forge, which would be awesome, because then that means he doesn't have very much gear at the moment. Um, we threw that Bridge Egg, and I'm going to go Invis. Um, he has a bow, so I do need to be slightly concerned about him popping my Invis and making it so I'm no longer Invis. Um, he definitely has a Fireball. He dropped... A t okay, so he dropped a TNT... But he also fell in the void, meaning he doesn't have any resources. So I'm just going to go ahead and run in. I'll drop a TNT on his base. And I'm going to stand all the way over here so I don't get exposed by it. Let me drop another TNT just for good measure. I think it's a little bit silly. And then we can go ahead and grab the bed. And uh, he is just flailing. And let's see if I can combo him off with just a fist. Yeah, very good. Very <laughs> fair. Invis is fair and balanced. <laughs> GG. Okay, we're playing Cliffside, which... From what I recall, is just a horrible map. I feel like this map is way too big, and there's no guaranteed first rush, I feel like, where maybe I go to Aqua, or maybe I go to Green. Maybe Green bridges to the Diamond Gen. I don't know. Um, I think I'm going to bridge to the Diamond Gen, and then from the Diamond Gen to Green. If I'm doing that wrong, please comment. Comment, the, and also like the video so I know. The number of likes I get is the number of people telling me that I'm rushing the wrong way on Cliffside. So, yeah, just... Thought I'd throw that out there. Lord Boy 6969, could you believe it, is dead. This is so sad. Um, but yeah, let's have another mad PvP encounter. I think his issue is... I don't know what his issue is. I was going to diagnose his issues, but I have too many issues myself to start diagnosing others. I do think it's funny, though. Up in chat here, it says, Lord Boy was knocked into the void by period. I didn't even have a name on that kill. That was awesome. Or did a, a ghost take my kill? I don't know. Okay, I'm absolutely looted up. And this game is actually almost over. We got Aqua and Yellow, which Aqua's directly next to me, which isn't good. And we also got Red, who just fell in the void. I'm in a position where I feel like if I rush... Uh, first off, I'm in the middle. Red's over there, Aqua's right here. So I'm right in the middle of these two, which is never good. But I feel like since I'm in the middle of both of them, I'm just going to end up getting rushed by both. So I'll just go for Aqua first, take out their bed... And then from there, I'll move towards red. You know, just take it take it one base at a time and hope that both teams don't end up going for me. I'm going to go with speed and jump on this map because speed and jump, I feel like, is pretty dang valuable. This map has a lot of ups and downs, and it's also massive. The map being massive is why I got speed. The map having a lot of ups and downs is why I got jump boost. Um, could you believe that a map called Cliffside <laughs> has a lot of ups and downs wow that's crazy it's almost like you're on the side of a cliff i am gonna go for this aqua player he's typing um and i think it would be really funny if i just go ahead and smack him yeah that oh he lived okay well this person i think wants to fight i think i'm gonna get away and break their bed oh they died of fall damage that's fine by me uh i am low however um maybe if i do this yeah, come, come here, come here, come here. 
Oh, I was really hoping that that would blast him out of here. Okay, we picked up a nice kill. I tried to die to that fireball, let it be known, but I ended up just blasting myself off the edge. Now, I didn't kill that aqua player. Is that going to cost me the game? It might, because now they have access to emeralds, which is very concerning. I'm going to run mid and hopefully also get access to emeralds. Because again, I am concerned right now that they were able to get away from that and just collect resources. All right, here we go. Ready? Blast off. Oh, he lagged me back. Oh, it doesn't matter. I hit him off. <laughs> what frick? What frick indeed? I don't know. <laughs> GG. That was kind of weird. Luckily, my one hit killed him. Otherwise, it could have caused a problem. We're playing on Lotus, which... Did they change this to a slow iron map? feel like they did, which I'm okay with. Look, I'm one of the rare fans of slow iron maps. I know there's a lot of people that love fast iron, but why do you like so many fireballs in, in a game? If you like fast iron, that, that's pretty much just saying you like getting fireballed, which is kind of weird in my opinion. Kind of, may I say, <clears throat> get ready for it. Sus. Am I two years late to a trend? Maybe. Maybe I'm two years late to a trend, but it doesn't matter. Also, did Blue not see me up here? Um, let's just go ahead and uh, jump off and hit him. Hopefully he died from that. I really hope he did. Okay, good. I'm always concerned that when I hit someone off and then run away from them, they leg back and just continue bridging to my base, because that would not be very good. Also, is this guy block hitting? Because he's not taking damage. How did I die from that? <laughs> Look, maybe he's, maybe he's a pro, but I feel like I landed like double the amount of hits he landed and somehow I was the one that died, but I'm not messing around anymore. I got an iron sword and I'm ready for combat. Um, it looks like he's going to keep going up. Did he get an iron sword too? I, I mean, we both died, but I think, <laughs> I think we had the same idea. Let's grab an iron sword and pick up some damage. Okay, it seems that yellow has grabbed a lot of emeralds. So we need to take out yellow quick because they have emeralds. I have a feeling they're going to place obsidian. Um, so I'm just going to run in here. And I'm going to... Oh, they don't have a minor fatigue trap? Don't get hit, don't get hit, don't get hit. All right, we'll drop a TNT. And since they don't have a minor fatigue trap, this should be a free bed. Perfect. Um, can, oh, I can, can I kill this guy? Oh, dang. I was doing well in that fight. He just had way better gear. He had prot iron. I think I don't even have prot. I just have leather armor. So his sword just shredded through me. However, it is good to know that I, I think I can take that guy in a fight. So, so next time we get into a fight, assuming I get some armor by that point, uh, it should go in my favor, hopefully. Okay, now I see, I think pink is in middle somewhere. So I'm going to go straight to their base and hopefully take it out. Hopefully no fireballs come flying in my direction. Hopefully they're not invis. There's a lot of hoping going on right now, but uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, wait. Pink's over there. Cool. All the beds are gone from the game. I'm not complaining. Should make it easier for me. I still don't have enough for iron armor. This is so frustrating. I'm, get, I'm getting a speed potion going, um, and maybe I can get a nice combo on yellow. Again, yellow's just going to shred through me because of, you know, having prot iron and a sharpness sword. I don't have the prot iron that he possesses, but I am going to run in on this guy. And let's see what happens. He was ready for me. I thought I could sneak up on him, and it worked. Oh, shoot. My, unfortunately, my block clutch didn't work. What I was trying to do was just get out of there, because I was pretty confident that I was going to die in that fight. And, and I saw that I had a lot of emeralds, and I was worried about giving all the emeralds to this pink player, which is why I jumped off. Which, I'm glad I was able to die to the void, which didn't give pink any emeralds. Um, also, oh wait, I thought, I thought pink went invis, but pink is just over here chilling. Okay, we're gonna have a big fight. We are gonna have a big fight. Top of the mountain fight. Yes, and it goes in my favor. Okay, that's gonna do it for this episode of Bed Wars. Sorry, I'm chuckling right now because I already shot this outro once, but then everyone in the lobby was like, hey, can you shoot it again so I can say hi YouTube in chat? <laughs> So they're all saying hi, YouTube. Anyway, uh, that's going to do it for this episode of Bed Wars. Make sure you check out my lunar cloak. Don't try calling it a cape. It's a cloak. Make sure you use my name in the Hypixel shop, code GamerBoy80. Also, make sure you smash like, smash subscribe, smash my car windows, and that'll do it. Hopefully, you all enjoyed. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.